And Sarah, the big picture under this law is lawmakers want to seek preventable measures when it comes to mental and physical health of those struggling with homelessness. Now, this new law ensures that people without homes receive access to essential medical and mental health care services instead of just emergency medical services. And I've been homeless here for two years and it's hard to get back on track again. Georgia spends many of her days, like many other people, struggling with homelessness, looking for a place to lay her head at night and searching for her next meal. I can to try to get some money for food. This is the second year in a row that more people are reported homeless in Connecticut. Over the past two years, the unhoused population has risen nearly 16%. Now homelessness is considered a public health crisis under a new state law that went into effect on Sunday. Homelessness is preventable and manageable. And the fact that at times we have not put all of our efforts into this, the cost to the society is very high. Under the new law, the public health crisis will continue until, quote, until the right of homeless persons to receive essential medical and mental health care services is adequately safeguarded and protected. If we had more help and they need social workers, social workers to help would be massive. Advocates who work on the front lines to help people like Georgia say housing and health care go hand in hand as tools to stop this public health crisis. And we have to really figure out um, with homelessness being recognized as a public health crisis, how we actually meet people where they are and provide them with what they can to be stable and stay housed. And then on the other side of it, how do we get people into housing and really figure out you can't uncouple homelessness and the housing crisis. Now, to put more of this into perspective, there are around 30,000 people in New on the New Haven Section 8 housing wait list. Many have been there for many years. In the studio, DeAndrea Turner, Fox 61, Connecticut's news station.